Hello everyone. It is an honor to present in this conference my presentation about integration of GIS and advanced remote sensing techniques for landslide hazard assessment, a case study of Northwest Syria. First of all, landslide susceptibility and hazard maps are important for disaster management planning. Landslide hazard mapping has been developed, providing remarkable results through the integration of remote sensing and GIS. Sometimes the terms susceptibility and hazard are erroneously used as synonyms. Therefore, some so-called uh, hazard maps are actually just susceptibility maps, as they don't consider the temporal and intensity dimensions along with the spatial aspects. Time series interferometric techniques such as PCI can provide precise information about instability of areas suffering from landslides and defor deformations. Due to unforeseen landslides following heavy rainfalls, uh, the road networks in the study area are susceptible annually to damage that threatens the lives and properties of the people living there. So the aim of this research is to use the integration of the PCI technique and GIS to obtain, to obtain the landslide intensity map during uh, a precipitation season, and also to use this intensity map with the landslide susceptibility map created from the artificial neural networks analysis to obtain the landslide hazard map as a final result. The study area extends over an area of 269 square, square kilometers in Northwest Syria, next to the Turkish border, the highest elevation is 1,130 meters in the mountain in the north, and the daily uh, uh, rainfall in December and January sometimes exceeds 50 millimeters, making these heavy rains uh, a major trigger for landslides in this area. From geological aspects, the study area is characterized by spread of ophiolite complex deposits in addition to different Mesozoic and Cenozoic sedimentary rocks. Geotechnical reports indicate that uh, the ribbon, radular, uh, the ribbon uh, radularite deposits combined with pilolavas were the main lithology at most sites where landslides occurred. The data used in this research, first, of, first uh, the CASAP topographic map from uh, 1980s was used to represent the topographic characteristics uh, similarly to that which were before the occurrence of all landslides participate, uh, participating in this study, same as the land cover and NDVI maps, which were created based on multispectral data of, landslide, of Landsat 5 from 1984. Since lithology is constant during the study period, Sentinel-2 uh, data from 2017 was used for the principal component analysis and P and band ratios techniques to prepare the lithology map with the help of uh, the geological map that was also used for pr preparing the fault map. Additionally, 14 Sentinel-1 image, images from 16 October 2018 to 21 March 2019 were used for the PCI technique. The methodology used, first of all, the pixel size for all prepared causative factors and landslide inventory maps was set to uh, 12 uh, and half meters, same as the recommended grid resolution of the DEM ex uh, extracted from um, the topographic map uh, while precipitation was excluded in the uh, statistical analysis of susceptibility because it is likely constant, uh, consistent within the relatively small study area. For the statistical analysis, multi-layer uh, per, uh, perception neural network using uh, a back pro uh, pro uh, propagation al algorithm was applied to the training dataset and the structure of nine uh, input layers, five hidden layers, and two output layers 
was selected for the neural network training phase with setting up a random subdivision of the input landslides and non-landslide training data set into 70% uh, for training, 15% for validation, and 15 for testing. And the resulting susceptibility map was validated using area under the curve analysis. Uh, this uh, flowcharts uh, show, um, shows um, the preparing uh, process of SAR data of the 14 image, images uh, of Sentinel-1 in SNAP uh, to get uh, the two products in order to be exported to STAMP for using uh, it in the uh, PCI technique to obtain the main velocity data. Uh, um, and um, the methodology for landslide hazard assessment depends on the interpolating of the main velocity data uh, to be used together with the susceptibility map in a landslide hazard matrix in RGIS to obtain uh, the landslide hazard map. The training and testing sets of landslides and non-landslides um, on a health shade map uh, we, uh, in, this, um, in this figure, we can see uh, the um, landslide data set and the uh, inventory map and the uh, non-landslide uh, data, data set. Uh, since there, there, were, there was uh, no landslide inventory map for the study area before, an inventory map uh, for, all, for all these landslides uh, that occurred in the study area between uh, 1984 and 2018 was prepared for the first time based on all available geotechnical reports and all other available information. The landslide inventory map, uh, as we can see here, um, um, contained 57 polygons um, representing all landslides. And um, the 57 polygons were randomly divided uh, into uh, two sets 40 landslide polygons were used as training set for statistical analysis and 70 and 17 landslide polygons were used as a testing set for validate the resulting susceptibility map. And the same procedure was done for the non-landslide data set, which was prepared with the same size of the landslide data set. As we can see, the causative uh, factor maps uh, were created in RJS with the same spatial extent, coordinate uh, system, and pixel size. Conse uh, consequently, all nine causative factors uh, contains um, um, were prepared, contained uh, all the, uh, the landslides in the area uh, were prepared. Uh, as we can see, um, the nine uh, causative factors maps is the uh, uh, slope, the aspect, um, the uh, terrain curvature, and the distance from the uh, stream network, and also the land cover, the NDVI, the lithology, and the distance from the faults, and also the distance from roads. Uh, and um, as a result, um, of uh, using the artificial neural networks analysis, landslide susceptibility map was created. A validation, a validation process of the landslide susceptibility map um, was, uh, was carried out using the area under the curve analysis based on uh, just the testing sets of landslide, which was not included in the, um, uh, in the analysis. Uh, depending on, on the com uh, communicative percentage of landslide pixels in the 100 susceptibility classes created, uh, the, uh, the area under curve value was uh, 90.228 per, uh, percent. The RAP, uh, in, uh, in course of um, the PCI technique, the, uh, we um, after preparing uh, uh, all the uh, pro, uh, all the data in uh, in SNAP uh, software, all RAP phases contain um, 
all rap faces um, um, was exported uh, to stamps. We can uh, note it uh, noted from this um, rap faces that it contain uh, patterns of uh, narrow uh, of narrow uh, frames, narrow inside of rings, um, which indicates the presence of uh, remarkable ground surface deformation at this location. Um, as we can, uh, as uh, these frings uh, uh, represent half uh, the wavelengths of Sentinel One, uh, uh, so it represent uh, 2.77 centimeter of displacement in the uh, line of sight direction. Uh, after after exporting the data from SNAP to Stamps and completing all the steps in MATLAB. Under uh, Linux, uh, a multipoint data set of uh, 23,500 uh, uh, persistent scatterers were generated, as we can see here. And uh, the, um, the main velocity ranged from uh, minus 47 to, um, to 101 millimeter. Uh, millimeter, which confirms the presence of ground surface deformation or landslides in the study area during the uh, study period. Uh, as we can see, the positive values indicate uh, movement uh, toward uh, the satellite, while negative values indicate movement away from the satellite. The interpolated uh, mean values, uh, uh, the interpolated mean uh, velocity map uh, show um, show um, in this figure um, we uh, ranked uh, bo uh, both positive and negative values to um, as uh, three zones low and moderate and high and uh, in order to get the intensity map uh, of um, the ground surface deformation during uh, the study period. And um, as a uh, as a result of inter uh, as a result of uh, using this intensity map and uh, the susceptibility map from uh, artificial neural networks in the landslide hazard matrix, we uh, we um, we have uh, got uh, the, la the landslide hazard map during the study period, which indicate um, the, uh, the high zones. Uh, as you can see here in red, um, as about uh, three percent of the whole uh, of the total study area. As a conclusion, this research uh, demonstrates the potential and capability of radar satellite data and INSAR time series technique to investigate and monitor ground surface deformation and to measure mean velocity in the line of uh, line of sight direction in millimeter accuracy over time using freely available data and software. The integration of artificial neural networks analysis and PCI technique with the help of GIS can be considered uh, as an attractive method for geological hazard task providing important results that can be regularly updated to be used in the disaster management planning process. Thank you for your attention.